Hey guys, uh, my name is Duncan and today I'm going to be building a battle arena. So let's get started. First thing uh, that I do when I usually start a level is I make the floor visible uh, just to get an idea of where I am in the world. Starting in that big empty space uh, kind of disorientates me so I'm going to drop down to the ground. Here we are. Okay, and then I usually drop in an NPC, and that's again just to get my get my bearings and kind of um, understand the scale of the world. So I've got an idea of what I want to build. I've been thinking about it for the last few days. I've been trying not to think too much because I wanted it to be a very natural experience of building, which is what I usually do. I just jump in, um, drop some shapes down, and kind of see what happens uh, with the theme that I've been given or that I've decided on, but for this one I've, I've had about a week or two weeks to think about it, so yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to go for a sort of a dark, uh, kind of gothic, uh, industrial, kind of uh, almost rock and roll kind of vibe for this ballerina to make it feel like you're, you know, there's a lot of action, there's a lot of energy in the, in the room, so uh, that's the vibe I'm going to go for. So I'm just going to uh, start with the walls. Actually, start with the floors. Uh, what I have in mind is a uh, kind of a muddy floor. So I'm gonna, gonna go with uh, in here, and there's a piece that's very good. Funny enough, this boulder. And if we flip it upside down, hey, there we go. Oh, I need to drag it up into the sky. Let's do that. Go and get my little, get my little character again, just to kind of get the idea of scale. Where is my character? I've lost him already. Okay, we're just gonna drop in another one, just to save time. Here we go. So as you see, already I've got a good sense of scale. This rock is massive. I need to scale it down. Um, here we go. Once you've got the scale right and you kind of, you know, the basics of the, out the outline of the level, you can kind of, um, that's when you, that's when you can kind of start to work on the, the nice details. Maybe something like that. That's quite cool. I quite like that, that, the look of that crack. <laughs> It makes a bit more sense as well, I guess, is, is this bit's going to be a bit more open. Let's see, something like this. This is what I've had in mind for the last few days. Um, hopefully it, it turns out alright. Uh, that, that's quite nice, I like that. I'm just going to drop in, uh, get a sense of, of the space and how it feels for the player um, by doing this. Here we are, okay. So I'm just going to run around and kind of get an idea of, of the space. For the player. I'm not sure how many people are going to be playing in this level but I'm thinking um, perhaps, I don't know, six, six to eight players maybe. This seems like a, a cool size. It's a bit small but um, keep it fairly simple. Right, let's come back out. Right, close this. Turn the music off again. There we go. We can. I'll leave this character in just now, just so I've still got my sense of scale. And I'm going to drop in some lava. Um, let's see here. Take the lava. There we go. Scale up. Actually, let's drag these arrows out. Like this. And I'm going to drag it up as well. Looks really weird from that angle, but we're, the player's not going to see it from that angle, so we're, we're fine. There we go. How about if it's a bit down, down a bit, rather than um, 
too close to the edge so you get that sense of like there's a drop into the lava and maybe like this yeah that's nice let's see make sure that it's not there's not leaving any gaps there we go and we've got this gap here i'm just gonna i'm just gonna pull this rock in um yeah i think so just to save messing around with adding another lava tile that's pretty cool quite like that okay now I'm going to add the walls. That will really kind of start to build the space, make it look a lot more like a battle arena. Um, there's some cool kind of gothic stuff in this graveyard pack. Um, got walls like, not this side, but if we turn, turn it around, something like that, that could be pretty cool. I'm just going to leave it there and kind of as a sort of um, a reference for, for what I might build. This one's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's nice. And I really like these uh, these little ornaments at the top, so I'm gonna keep them there just uh, as a as a, a reference of what I want my, what I might want to use. I also like those 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 trees. These look quite cool. I wonder if we can use them. I'm gonna leave that to the side as well. That's quite an interesting asset that I could use. Uh, and I think there's a piece in space. Is it walls? Let me see. Actually, no. Let's go back to space. Let's just go to all. Um, this piece might be good. It's kind of got that dark texture with a um, black texture with the um, the ridges. Is quite nice. I'm not too keen on the the missives for this scene, but I might be able to hide it. This door as well. This this looks good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Alright, let's use this, this wall. So what I'm going to do is build one wall uh, for one side and and then duplicate around the place to save time. And actually, I wonder if I want a little bit more space on this side. I don't want the wall to be too close to that. Crack at the edge. Let's try this. Maybe something. In fact, that's fine. You know what? I'm just going to leave it like that. It's, I just need to fix that bit there, I think. Fill in that edge. There we go. Okay. Hey. I'm just going to place this along. It's going to start as a sort of a very basic looking wall, and I'm going to add some more details to it. What I find really helps with these kind of things is, is, yeah, this wall looks this wall looks cool, but having adding more details, like customizing it to make it look a little bit different to the asset that was originally placed, it, it kind of gives that level a, a lot more sort of um, uniqueness. And uh, if people can look at your level and not really see straight away what you've used to build it, I think that's where the, the some, some good magic happens because people are, are start asking questions about, um, you know, how was it done, you know? Um, I think that's just a, mu a much more interesting way to approach it rather than um, just dropping down a wall and be like, okay, that's the wall. Making it your own is, is what sort of separates it from the other levels, I think, sometimes. Pull that in, give it a nice little edge there. Same with this side, just make sure it may be here. How does that look? That's cool. It's still a little small. Let me think. I might just take this whole thing and scale it up a little bit. Let's try this. I'm just going to lift it up into the sky so the collision at the bottom doesn't uh, block me from scaling up. Well, it's not letting it scale up anyway, I think it's because of the lava. So I'm just going to do that. Control G. There we go. It's a little bit bigger. And my, because I've selected everything, my character scaled up, so I'm going to delete them. Drop in another one. 
we got? How's that? How's that looking? That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's leave that for now. Actually, still not too keen on the size. Oops, let's go just, just a little bit down, just a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then I'll drag my lava back in. Like this. Let's bring it out a bit more. Hold Alt and click and drag the lava out to get a, a duplicate of it. Um, there we go. Yeah. Which there's no gaps. There's a little gap there. Let's group this lava by hitting Control G. There we go. Okay. And now I'm going to start adding some more detail to this wall. It's a uh, just now. It's just just two assets. This this uh, door piece and this. It's called a roof. I don't know why it's called a roof. It doesn't look like a roof to me. Yeah, so I'm thinking of pieces that might suit this, uh, this style of wall well. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind, funnily enough, is in contemporary, and there's a pillar that I use quite a lot. Whoever modelled this pillar is a genius. This is great. Uh, I use it all the time. It's Look at the detail. It's a, it's a beautiful piece. I use it way more often than you'd think for, uh, for a normal grey shape. Um, whoops. Let's uh, bring this down. I'm still getting, trying to get used to this keyboard that they've given me. <laughs> Keep accidentally pressing buttons. Right, there we go. I'm just making this up as I go along. So, we'll see how it goes. Right here. Making sure not to overlap them too much because if you overlap, the, you know these these textures overlap too much, you'll start to get a little flicker in. That's when it it's not very noticeable here. There it is. You just see it slightly here, um, and you know it just the player sees that it, it makes a little bit of their version. Um, so I try to avoid that as much as possible. Another cool thing I would like to take from the contemporary folder. This one, this canvas frame, becomes very useful sometimes when you turn off collision, scale it up, and um, it's a nice quick way to kind of create some complexity to levels is using this to suggest pipes in the background sometimes. It just adds a little bit more detail, things like this, you know. Um, it's uh, And it's got this nice kind of ridge on it as well. This, Kind of gives a little, little uh, extra detail. Right. Duplicate that again. Bring it up to emphasise that ridge. Maybe. There we go. That's quite cool. I have to figure out what I want to do for for behind these uh, behind these things. Uh, ideally, it would be something like. Um, uh, where, where people would sit to watch it. So I'm just trying to think what I could use. Let's hmm, let's take let's take this and let's rotate it. And change the rotation, make this kind of this bit flat. So it's in line with this wall. How does that look? Hmm. It's just a little bit off. I'm gonna try this. Okay. Rotate this. This might look terrible, but we'll see. We'll see. So I want to kind of imitate the like this chairs there, you know. How does that look? It's pretty cool. It just needs to be straightened up a bit more. Unless I just take that and scale it up. 
and then we don't have to worry about joining the two together. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, Just trying to build up a, an idea of the shape of the place to start with and then I can add more details as I go. And that's quite cool. Yeah, it's starting to feel like a battle arena. It's quite nice. Okay, let's say... Uh, Let's try dropping in this big hammer thing that I had, this idea. I'm going to make this actually, give this a lot more space. So where's my hammer going to be? It's going to be right in the middle and it's going to, I'm not going to add any logic to it to, for this video, but um, I think it'll be a really cool feature to have. It'll kind of dominate the scene, I'll give it a little base to to uh, to rest on. It's quite cool. How's the flickering? So control F to turn on the flashlight, and it gives you a better sense of uh, how things look in the in the shadows. So I can notice some flickering there. Players aren't going to notice this from down here, especially when they're when they're in a in a battle. But uh, it bothers me, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna tidy it up just slightly by nudging that. Um, it just overall you know it, it helps just to kind of cover these little issues here and there it just it's a good habit to get into as well as just in case some players notice it um it just breaks the immersion even for one player it's not good so yeah i try to hide those things as much as possible um that's cool um let's see what we could do here to create the illusion of uh of a uh, somewhere that a hammer might, a giant hammer might rest, you know, like uh, where it might be functioning from. Um, let me think, in minimalist architecture we have these kind of, I'm just looking for a black really, a black texture that can um, give that sense from a distance that there is a depth to this, to this piece. Um, let's try this. Yeah, that's quite nice. And again, I'll do it over here. Actually, you know what? I think it was in Canyon. Was it that? I wonder if we could just use that. That's quite cool. I wanted it to be a hammer, um, so I'm not sure how this will work. Um, I'm going to try it anyway, and maybe just cover it up with some pieces. It's quite uh, imposing, just standing here and you've got this big axe above you. I wonder if... how does it look coming down? That's cool. That's quite nice actually. Um, I just need to make this bit work better with the piece. Um, let me have a think how I'm going to do this. Because I don't want it to clip through that, that stick. That's cool though, I'm going to keep that. So I was originally going to use a hammer, but, but just trying that, that piece it made me realise I actually want to use that instead. 
to know. It's just a matter of um, blending it into the environment and making it look a bit more, make a bit more sense over here. Hmm. We'll figure this out. Let's take away these for now. It's just trial and error for a lot of things. That's the um, advantage and disadvantage of, of not um, practicing before starting this video. But I think it's better to, to see how how it, you would naturally go about building a level and not just um, sort of you know building it and then uh, building it all and then building it again for a second time just to show people how you how you've done it. I think it's I think it's cool to see the errors that are, are being made as, as someone's building because it's not all just instant magic you know it takes a lot of um, trial and error to to get things the way you want them and the more you build things this is just my opinion but the more you build things and and make mistakes the more you're learning you know you can't learn if you get it right all the time uh, because uh, well nobody gets it right all the time and uh, that's just part of it um, it's just trying things all the time uh, yeah, so this looks terrible. I'm going to delete that. I really want to have some sort of uh, place for this thing to rest that that looks decent, you know. Let's find a let's go and have a look at pieces and see what works. Let's try spikes. Yes, that's the one. Cool. These are tiny, absolutely tiny. Um, but when they scale up, they look cool. So, like right now, they just look like oh, if you you know, they just don't look imposing. They look pretty, you know. I mean, it'd still be sore to land them, but it's you know, this looks this looks much better doing this. Chucking them behind. Let's try this. Yeah, bit hardcore. Nice. I really like giving a, every level a sense of scale and I think getting that those background details um, really kind of, uh, it also helps distract the eye as well, you know, you're not just looking at this axe and, and oh what's he used to kind of make these vents, it's like the eye's getting pulled in different directions, it's almost like, you know, distractions everywhere. It really helps to kind of uh, cement the player in the scene I think and just make it feel like a more immersive world. So let's change the time of day and see how this looks in a much more dramatic um, setting. Uh, how's the fog looking? Let's, let's increase the fog to a little bit like that maybe. Time of day. Time of day could suit, suit this scene well. I quite like the, the sun casting over the level. Um, uh, you get these nice, you know, nice shadow details. Um, but I also want it to feel a bit more rock and roll, so uh, that's going to be an interesting little challenge. Well, that's quite cool. Mm, but it's behind this big thing here. I wonder if we can... See so that, I want it to be... I, I quite like the, the sun height in this, and you get this kind of almost red tones coming from it because it's so low. But then this piece gets in the way, so if the player is in the middle of the level, which they're most likely going to be, 
um, they're just not they're not getting that you know it's, it's looking a bit flat here so that's telling me maybe I should move this piece or change it for something else so let's let's change it and it'll add variety to the level as well maybe yeah like that that could work Okay, cool. It's actually, um, I've had this uh, this idea for this level for in my mind for a couple of days and it, it's uh, starting to take shape and it's, it's nice to see it taking shape into how I imagined it, which is cool. Let's get some fog um, and see how it works out. Um, so static effects, VFX ground fog. And have this idea to use it for the sky. It might look terrible, but we'll, but we'll see. Um, so as you can see, it's visible like this. It's, it's intended to be used as like this, this kind of foggy, just for the ground. It's it's just for ground fog. But if you flip it upside down, it can. That's quite cool as well, actually. I'm going to use that for just above my lava. Again, it's it's distracting the eye. You're not just looking at the lava. You've got like kind of the hint of fog and the stuff. It's just there's more going on. I'm going to flip upside down. This might not work, uh, so <laughs> we'll see. Uh, it might be cool. It might give a good sense of uh, epicness to the scene. Look at that. Uh, how's that looking? A bit too foggy. A bit too foggy. Lift it up. It's cool, but you know what? It's just too foggy. Um, I can't see the, the distant details enough. So I'm going to delete that. Um, I have to figure out what I want to do for the background um, to give it a, a greater sense of uh, depth. You know, it could be that that tree, you know, uh, that I left aside earlier on, wherever it is, maybe, there it is. Maybe just taking that. You know, that's those are some nice moments when you're sitting there thinking, how do I fill up this space? And you can go back to those pieces that you put aside earlier on. Uh, to see if maybe they they help you um it does oh, awesome great yeah i think that's gonna work i'm gonna use that why not just go mental Okay, it's starting to look uh, pretty, pretty good. Uh, I'm going to drop in some, some effects now. Take him away, I don't need that character anymore. Definitely want some ash because uh, this, there's a lava. Uh, there's lava in the middle. I'm going to cover the whole scene with that. These special effects are really good for just blending the scene together. Again, more distractions. It's all distractions. You know, it, it, that brief moment the player's looking at the ash falling, they're not looking at perhaps some little mistake you've made somewhere. So it's really good to kind of, and it just gives a sense of you know, realism, a little bit more realism as well. Like, oh, there would be ash because the lava's in the middle. 
yeah, it gives a better sense of heat as well, I guess, if, uh, you know, you want the player to feel like they're in this really hot environment. So I'm going to drop in some uh, floating embers as well. Grab those. I might lift them up a bit. Because the, the embers that are floating around inside these rocks, the player's not going to see. So it's a kind of it's a waste of uh, a nice effect. So I'm going to bring them up. Pretty cool. Still need something to kind of break things up a bit more. Um, let's. I had this idea to create these, um, to surround the the arena with these um, these torches that are shooting up flames, because we have this this effect, um, flame thrower effect. So perhaps I can use that, and it will again give that sense of heat. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's cool. Give it a bit more of a ready tone. Make it look a bit more like fire. Might even try and match the lava. The red of the lava, the orange. Yeah, that's cool. It's quite nice. I'm going to try something that might look ridiculous, but we'll see. Just I, I still want to break up this empty space. I, I'm not a fan of blank spaces too much. One thing I tried the other day in a different level was using pu puddles for clouds, and it worked surprisingly well, so I'm going to try that again. Depends, I guess, on the on the type of scene you're making, uh, whether it works or not. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> it's ridiculous, but I like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over it. I think. Yeah. That's what I loved about this kind of uh, this kind of art is is having a ridiculous idea and then when it works out fairly well, it just it feels great because. Yeah. Who would have thought puddles would, would make OK clouds? Uh, it's quite good to have those limitations, I think. Um, sometimes, you know, you don't have all the tools that you'd need, but or that you, you would you would like if you could have control over everything, and yet having that limitation really helps you come up with some interesting ideas. Um, I think that's part of the magic, I think, in, in this kind of art, is it's just coming up with solutions for weird problems like this, where, well, we don't have clouds, well, what do we have that could imitate clouds? And a puddle, for some reason. Something that's never usually in the sky. And, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I like it. That moon's cool. I always like the moon, but it's distracting me now. It's breaking into that cloud. It's taking my eye off that, that cloud, so I'm going to turn off the sky. And where is the sky? Space? No space. Yeah, I think that's feeling a lot more grounded, you know. Um, more grounded, but it's taking the attention off that that moon in a good way. I 
and maybe we can merge a few together. This might look rubbish, but we'll try it. I'm just not too keen on the, the kind of grittiness of this uh, repetitive texture that's going on on this lava. Um, let's catch my eye a bit. Nice. It looks a lot more, um, a lot more like lava, a lot more dangerous. Okay. Um, let's try and break up this ground with some, uh, some, some rocks again, just just to kind of break up the, break up the texture a bit more. So I'm going to take these rocks, scale them down. In fact, I'm going to delete disable collision as well because you don't want the player bumping over the rocks like. Although it might happen in real life, it's it's not fun in the game. It's just it's jarring sometimes. Just going to place these around, around, and kind of make sure that they're not looking too repetitive. Um, so we're rotating and stuff like that. You can scale again. One thing that I find really helps building these levels, which I can't do just now because I'm recording, but is a blasting music um, while you're building that suits the theme. So even it, like I don't usually listen to like hardcore rock and roll, but um, or you know really grunge music, you know like uh, music you'd hear in Doom or something. But I would be blasting it right now um, and getting that vibe, um, not just visually, um, but uh, but through the music. I think music really helps. Um, set the scene when you're building and it really makes you feel like you're there you know and the more you feel like you're there I find it a lot easier it is to build so yeah and it doesn't even have to be music that you like I find it, it you know I've listened to some strange music in the past when I'm making scenes and um, you know if I'm making a the disco level uh, you know I'll put on disco music and I'll be dis listening to disco music all day uh, and it really just helps get into that that rhythm and that vibe and you become part of the scene a lot more just by feeling the music and, and f feeling where you're at so yeah right now i would be listening to some proper grungy rock music just to get in the scene if i wasn't recording for you guys so. <laughs> i'm getting really excited with this lightning idea you know i had this idea the other day um, I thought it could be, a, you know, it could look rubbish, but <laughs> well, why not try? Uh, it could look great. I think just just the idea itself is, um, uh, you know, just having that in the sky is going to really break up the scene and make it look more interesting. As well, if you've, you know, if you've got, um, if you see things that I'm doing that you think could be better, just, just leave a comment and let me know because any any piece of advice is, is always useful and and I think this kind of art it's you know anyone can can have a great idea and you don't need to be a be a professional to, to, to come up with a great idea that, that could look cool I'm going to try uh, add a bit more light behind these clouds, maybe to make it look like uh, you know thunder and lightning. How's that? That looks okay. Yeah, it's quite nice. Why not? Again, I'm going to add a bit more detail to the ground now. Um, Let's add some sort of dead plant life or something. Again, just breaking it up. Uh, what we got? I don't want to put these um, duplicates around too much because 
yeah, I don't want to distract the eye too much from everything else to, to look at the ground. But just enough to kind of give a sense of, of, of detail. Um, not bad, yeah. I think we need an entrance. I think this, um, it's looking cool, but it doesn't make sense that like, what they're going to do is come down here and then jump into the into the arena. So I'm going to create a cool entrance on this side. And again, that will help break it up because this side's got an interesting element. But this side, apart from the light then, it needs that, that entrance. So I wonder where we could put that. Let's just pull these apart equally. I'm going to turn the grid on here so I can be sure that they're getting pulled apart evenly. Like so. It's not that long. Even look at that. It's not that long again. This could be where the door goes. Big dramatic gate or something. Um, I'm gonna pull in a person actually, just to get another another sense of scale. Just quickly. Nice. going to add a light behind it. Spotlight. This will just give us a nice um, detail, um, nice sort of effect of the lights, uh, that orange light casting through the, the, the bars. And again, it will break up that, that terrain a little bit. Turn on shadows. Pull it forward. Nice, yeah. And then we just want to match that colour. I could use the colour picker, uh, but sometimes I quite like to manually control it and just uh, get the right shade that looks right. Because you could make it orange, um, but usually as light comes from a source, it changes colour as it as it. Um, you know, uh, starts to collide with all the other light sources in the scene. So just because the light's orange doesn't mean that the light cast from it is going to be completely orange, especially once it's, it's spread its distance and it hits the ground. I think because there's clouds, there's these, this lightning, let's try and balance out the colours as well. Oh, there's a lot of oranges uh, on the ground, but there's no oranges in the sky. So I'm gonna have try this crazy idea to make yeah, a, like the the rain is fire, you know, there's lava um, coming from the sky almost, um, using these these lights here. Let's try it. It's quite nice like that, where hmm. it's not working for me just yet. I think it looks it's too much. It's too much. Yeah. I wonder what we can do with that sky. I want to add more orange to the sky. Let me try let me try what I did with the with the, the light before, the white light. And let's try bringing some oranges. <laughs> that's awesome. Excellent, yeah, that's nice. I've never tried that before, but I think it really works. What else can we add? I think there's there's no cover just now. Maybe maybe just some just some bigger rocks would help. Um, let's drop in some.
let's drop in and see what this looks like. Let's run around and have a look and see how this feels. God, I've been building for two hours. How did that happen? Time flies when you're having fun. It really does. I thought it'd been about an hour. Um, that's cool. I think I'm going to leave it here because I've been building for ages. I didn't realise how, how much time I spent building this. Um, which, is, uh, which is great, you know. I had a lot of fun building this. I'm going to stamp this up and... Uh, if you guys um, want to jump in and add things to this, why not give it a try and, and, and make something cool with it. If you think it could be improved, go for it and share it with us and, and I'd love to see what you do with it. I'm going to make that public now. So, select it all, Control G to group it. Uh, let's call it, what are we going to call it? Um, Dunks Battle Arena. So go and grab it and and share your creations with us. See what see what you can do with it. I'll allow you to group it too. Go for it. All right. Thanks so much for your time, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this as well. Um, if there's something that you think could be done better, let us know. And yeah, have fun. Thank you. Time for a new world. Let's build it together.